Hello dear students. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about Intergovernmental Organization, SARC, which is very important for many competitive exams. This video is very informative as well as very helpful for you. Be with this video till the end. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my new videos. Let us start from the first question. What does SARC stand for? The correct option for this question is option B. South Asian Association for Regional Corporation. The SARC is the Regional Intergovernmental Organization and Geopolitical Union of State in South Asia. When was the SARC organization founded? The correct option for this question is option C. On 8th December 1985. SARC was founded in Dhaka on 8th December 1985. Which of the following countries is not the member of the SARC? The correct option for this question is Mongolia. The member countries of SARC are Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. Which is the latest member of SARC? The correct option for this question is option B, Afghanistan. Afghanistan joined SARC as its eighth member state in April 2007 at its 14th summit conference in New Delhi, India, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka are the founding members of the SARC. Where is the headquarter and secretariat of SARC located? The correct option is option D, Kathmandu, Nepal. Let us know some important facts. Meeting of heads of state are usually scheduled annually and meeting of foreign secretaries twice annually. The SARC secretariat was established in Kathmandu on 16th January 1987. Its role is to coordinate and monitor the implementation of SARC activities, service the meeting of the association and serve as the channel of communication between SARC and other international organizations. When did SARC launch the South Asian Free Trade Area? The correct option is option A in 2006. The South Asian Free Trade Area, SAFTA, is a 2004 agreement that created a free trade area of 1.6 billion people in Afghanistan Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. 
with the vision of increasing economic cooperation and integration. How many observer countries are there to SARC at present? The correct option is option B, 9. 9 observers to SARC are Australia, China, the European Union, Iran, Japan, the Republic of Korea, Mauritius, Myanmar and the United States of America. There is a moratorium on the admission of new observers to SARC at present. Which of the following is not among the three conferences in which the idea of cooperation among South Asian countries are discussed? The correct option is option B, the Dhaka Conference. The idea of cooperation among South Asian countries was discussed in three conferences. The Asian Relations Conference held in New Delhi in April 1947. The Baguio Conference in the Philippines in May 1950. And the Colombo Powers Conference held in Sri Lanka in April 1954. The idea of SARC was proposed by whom? The correct option is Zia Ul Rahman. The idea of SARC was proposed by the then Bangladesh ruler Jia Ul Rahman in 1979 after the USSR's intervention in Afghanistan. The Bangladeshi proposal was promptly endorsed by Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bhutan and Maldives but India and Pakistan were skeptical initially. Now match the following. You have to match SARC summit with theme. Eighteenth summit. Deeper integration for peace and prosperity. Sixteenth summit. Towards a green and happy South Asia. Fifteenth summit. Partnership for our people. 20th Summit Overcome Cross-Border Terrorism So the correct option for this question is option B. 2143 18th SARC Summit The theme was Deeper Integration for Peace and Prosperity 16th SARC Summit Theme was Towards a Green and Happy South Asia 15th SARC Summit Theme was Partnership for Our People. 20th Summit Theme was Overcome Cross-Border Terrorism. Now the question is, where was the first SARC Summit held? The correct option is option B in Dhaka. The first SARC summit was held in Dhaka on 7-8 December 1985 and hosted by the President of Bangladesh, Hussain Irsad. Who is not among the signatory dignitaries 
of the declaration of the sark the correct option is option b nawaz sharif let us know the signatory dignitary's name king of bhutan jigme singh wangchuk president of pakistan ziaul haq prime minister of india rajiv gandhi king of nepal virendra shah president of sri lanka j r jayawardene and president of maldives mamun gayum After 31st December 2015 how many regional centers of sark was stopped The correct option for this question is option B 6 After 31st December 2015 the six regional centers were stopped by unanimous decision Let us know about this six regional centers first is sark metrological research center location dhaka bangladesh sark forestry center location thimphu bhutan sark documentation center location new delhi india sark coastal zone management center location male maldives Sark Information Center location Kathmandu Nepal Sark Human Resources Development Center location Islamabad Pakistan Now again match the following you have to match regional center of sark with location let us see these regional centers sark development fund it is located in thimphu sark agricultural center it is located in dhaka sark disaster management center this is located in gandhinagar sark tuberculosis and hiv aids center this is located in kathmandu so the correct option for this question is 2143 a option sark development fund is in thimphu bhutan Sark Agriculture Center is located in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Sark Disaster Management Center is located in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Sark Tuberculosis and HIV AIDS Center is located in Kathmandu, Nepal. Which of the following is not included in the apex bodies of sark The correct option for this question is option D SEC Sark Energy Center is a regional center of sark located in Islamabad Pakistan Sark has six apex bodies they are Sark Chamber of Commerce and Industry South Asian Association for Regional Corporation in Law South Indian Federation of Accountants South Asia Foundation South Asia Initiative to End Violence Against Children Foundation of Sark Writers and Literature Who is the current secretary general of SARC The correct option is option B 
इसाला रुबान बैराकोन एच ई इसाला रुबान बैराकोन ऑफ श्रीलंका एज्यूम द ऑफिस ऑफ द सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ साउथ एशियन एसोसिएशन फॉर रीजनल कॉपरेशन ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी Sark has how many recognized bodies? The correct option is option C, eighteen. Who was the first secretary general of Sark? The correct option is option D, Abul Hasan. Let us know some important facts about this person. Abul Hasan is a Bangladeshi diplomat who served as the first Secretary General of SARC from 1987 to 1989. Foreign Secretary of Bangladesh from 1989 to 91. the country's ambassador and deputy permanent representative to the un ambassador to poland italy pakistan and the united states from 1991 to पाकिस्तान वॉज कॉल्ड ऑफ as india bangladesh bhutan and afghanistan decided to boycott it it was the first time that four countries boycotted a sark summit leading to its cancellation When was the SARC visa exemption sticker scheme launched? The correct option is option D, 1992. Let us know some important points about this scheme. The SARC visa exemption sticker scheme was launched in 1992. The leaders at the fourth summit, Islamabad, 29 to 31 December 1988, realized the importance of the special travel document, which is known as SARC visa exemption sticker scheme, to get people-to-people -people contact among SARC countries. The document would exempt them from visas within the region it is issued to 24 categories of entitled persons which include dignitaries judges of higher courts parliamentarians senior officials businessmen journalists sportsmen etc the visa stickers are issued by the respective member states to the entitled categories of that country The validity of the visa sticker is generally for one year. The implementation is reviewed regularly by the immigration authorities of SARC member states. Which of the following statement is not correct about the SARC award? Let us see the statements. The 10th summit approved the SARC award to support individuals and organizations 
within the region. The SARC award consists of gold medal, a letter of citation, and cash prize of $25,000. It is bestowed to honor outstanding contributions and achievements of individuals and organizations within the region in the fields of peace, development, poverty, alleviation, environmental protection, and regional cooperation. To encourage individuals and organizations based in South Asia to undertake programs and activities that complement the efforts of SARC. Let us see which statement is correct statement. Do you know the correct statement? The correct statement is option A. The 10th summit approved the SARC award to support individuals and organizations within the region is not the correct statement about the SARC. The correct statement is the 12th summit approved the SARC about to support individuals and organizations within the region. The 12th summit approved the SARC award to support individuals and organizations within the region. The main aims of the SARC award are to encourage individuals and organizations based in South Asia to undertake programs and activities that complement the efforts of SARC. To encourage individuals and organizations in South Asia contributing to bettering the conditions of women and children. To honor outstanding contributions and achievements of individuals and organizations within the region in the fields of peace, development, poverty, alleviation, environmental protection, and regional cooperation. To honor any other contributions and achievements not covered above of individuals and organizations in the region. The SARC award consists of a gold medal, a letter of citation, and cash prize of $25,000. Since the institution of the SARC award in 2004, it has been awarded only once and the award was posthumously conferred upon the late President Jiao Rahman of Bangladesh. When was Sark Literary Award started? The correct option is option D, 2001. The Sark Literary Award is an annual award conferred by the Foundation of Sark Writers and Literature, an apex body of Sark. Samsu Rahman, Mahasweta Devi, Jyanta Mahapatra, Avi Subedi, Mark Tully, Sita Kant Mahapatra, Uday Prakash, Suman Pokhrel, and Abhaki are some of the prominent recipients of this award. Nepali poet, lyricist, and translator Suman Pokhrel is the only poet writer to get this award twice. Which of the following statement is not correct about the SARC? Let us see the statement one by one. First SARC summit was held in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Till date, 18 SARC summits have been held. As on 2015, SARC comprises 3% of world's area, 21% of the world's population, and 3.8% of the global economy. 20th SARC summit will be held in New Delhi. What is the correct option? Do you know the correct option? The correct option is option D. 20th SARC summit will be held in New Delhi. This is not the correct statement. Let us see what is correct statement. 20th SARC summit will be held in Islamabad, Pakistan. Which of the following SARC member has best HTI rank in the whole group?
the correct option is option c sri lanka all the members of sark have sdi rank above 100 but sri lanka is the only member of the sark which has sdi rank below 100 sdi rank of the sri lanka is 73 What was the theme of the SARC year 2016-17? The correct option is option D, year of cultural heritage. The SARC theme for the financial year 2016-17 was year of cultural heritage. Year for girls was the theme of 1990. Year for environment was the theme of 1992 and year for good governance was the theme of 2008. Sark law was accorded recognition in which year? In 1994. In which year Sark Law Commission was formulated? The correct option is option B, 1991. President of Maldives, Mamon Abdul Gayum, has attended 14 SARC summits besides him who has attended a maximum number of SARC summits. The correct option is option A, King Jigme Singe Wangchuk. What is the name of the SARC satellite? The correct option is option D, G set 9 or SARC satellite. The South Asia satellite designated G set 9, formerly known as SARC satellite, is a geostationary communications and metrology satellite operated by the Indian Space Research Organization for the South Asian Association for Regional Corporation region. The satellite was launched on 5th May 2017. Now again match the following. You have to match SARC summit with location. Eighteenth summit was held in Nepal. Sixteenth summit was held in Bhutan. Fourteenth summit was held in New Delhi. Ninth summit was held in Maldives. So the correct option for this question is option A. Three, two, one, four. The 18th summit was held at the Nepalese capital Kathmandu from November 26 to 27, 2014. The 16th summit was held in Thimphu, Bhutan on 28-29 April 2010. The 14th summit of SARC was held in New Delhi, India on 3rd to 4th April 2007. The 9th summit was held in Mali, Maldives on 12 to 14 May 
वॉट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द सार्क ऑप्शन सार रिस्पेक्ट फॉर सॉवरेन इक्वालिटी टेरिटोरियल इंटीग्रिटी पॉलिटिकल इंडिपेंडेंस नॉन इंटरफेरेंस All are correct. So the correct option for this question is option C, A, B, C, D. What is the major objective of the SARC? Options are economic growth, social progress, cultural development. All the above. The correct option is all the above. Where is the South Asian University located? Options are New Delhi, Dhaka, Islamabad, Kathmandu. What is the correct option? The correct option is New Delhi. South Asian University is an international university located in India. Degrees and certificates awarded by the South Asian University are at par with the respective degrees and certificates awarded by the national universities institutions. When did South Asia Preferential Trading Agreement come into effect? The correct option is option A, 1995. South Asia Preferential Trading Agreement for promoting trade amongst the member countries came into effect in 1995. Now the question is, the SARC comprises, options are 3% of the world's area, 21% of the world's population, 3.8% of the global economy, all the above. The correct option is all the above. Again, match the following. Sark Secretariat. It is related to 16th January 1987. The United States of America is the observer to Sark. Air Services Agreement. This is related to Greece. Kant Kishor Bhargava related to India. So the correct option for this question is option A. 3, 2, 1, 4. Let us see the important facts about this question. The SARC Secretariat was established in Kathmandu on 16th January 1987. The United States of America is one of the nine observer countries of two SARC. India on 7th September 2016 signed the bilateral air services agreement with Greece to permit unlimited points of call for domestic airlines in Greece. Kant Kishor Vargava is former Secretary General of SARC who held office from 17-10-1989 to 31-12-1991. What is the tenure of Secretary General of SARC? The correct option is option C, 3 years. The Secretary General is appointed by the Council of Ministers on the principle of rotation for a non-renewable tenure of 3 years.
Which of the following statement is not correct about the composition of the SARS secretariat? Let us see the options one by one. The secretariat comprises secretary general. This is correct. The secretariat run by nine director. This is not correct. The secretariat also has the general services staff. This is also correct. The secretariat run by seven director. This is also correct. So the correct option for this question is option B. The secretariat run by nine directors is not the correct statement about SAR. The secretariat comprises the secretary general, seven directors, and the general services staff. What is included in the agreed areas of the integrated program of action of SAR? Options are agriculture, population activities, rural development, all the above. The correct option is all the above. SARC formally launched the integrated program of action initially in five agreed areas of cooperation, namely agriculture, rural development, telecommunications, metrology, and health and population activities. When did the External Affairs Minister S. Jaisankar attended the South Asian Association of Regional Corporation Foreign Minister informal meet virtually? The correct option is option C on September 24, 2020. Let us note some important facts. During the meet, it was highlighted that SARC should overcome cross-border terrorism, blocking of connectivity, and obstruction in trade. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.